The Fort Worth Police Department says it is working to get more help to make its backlog of evidence a little more manageable. Yes, yeah, so last October, the department was dealing with a backlog of nearly 900 sexual assault cases. With the help of the Tarrant County Medical Examiner, the police department has made some progress. Fox Sports Dion Anglin joining us now live from Fort Worth. Dion. Hi there, I spoke with Chief Neil Noakes and he tells me there is an ongoing effort, a plan, a detailed plan to catch up the hundreds of unprocessed rape kits. The massive backlog of Fort Worth PD's untested rape kits is declining. But we've been able to bring that number from 898 down 190 to 708. Chief Neil Noakes continues with the effort to urgently correct the problem he says stems from a shortage of staff here at the police department's crime lab where they process sexual assault victims DNA samples after it is collected at a hospital. The chief says he's optimistic the job vacancies will soon be filled. What we're really encouraged about is we have eight positions for forensic scientists, five are vacant. We just closed the posting and we're doing interviews right now. We had 39 people apply. I want to know if our delay, our failure in this, did it compromise the judicial path of any of these cases? Our understanding is no in our conversations with the district attorney's office. The chief on Tuesday, following some council members' criticism regarding transparency, answered questions about the backlog during his update at the city's work session. The chief points out other steps underway include an arrangement with the Tarrant County Medical Examiner's Office. It will handle testing on any new sex assault kits that come in, while the department's lab works to erase the backlog. To our crime lab team. He also explained a new department policy to keep victims informed. We're reaching out to every one of the survivors that may be uh, impacted by this to let them know what's going on, and we're requiring a notation by the investigator in the case file to show that that contact has been made. And we're absolutely facing this head on and to get this done right. Now, the chief says there is an additional uh, measure on the police department's website. There is an area where the public can go and click and keep up with the information and follow how they are working to eliminate the backlog.